and on Plus TV News now. That's the Jigawa tank explosion rises to 167. Vice President Kashim Shetima calls for concerted measures to protect the infrastructure against attacks. Israel Prime Minister promises more war dash and peace oops after Amos never killed. Hello, good evening and welcome. I'm Emmanuel Ulububuko and this is News Now. A tank explosion in the Tara Lukigama area of Jigawa State has resulted in 167 deaths, according to State Governor Imran Amadi. The explosion occurred in Majea town, where, where many victims were scooping fuel from the wreckage. A mass burial was held for the initial 147 victims. As Governor Namede expressed gratitude to Canada State Government and assured that a 100 million naira donation will be used to aid the victims and their families. The Nigerian Safety Investigation Bureau is conducting a full scale investigation to identify the causal factors and provide safety recommendations. Now, Vice President Kashim Shetima has urged uh, cybersecurity experts to uh, tackle AI challenges and also protect Nigeria's digital infrastructure from cyber attacks. Shetima highlighted the benefits of AI in uh, combating cyber threats and the importance of robust cybersecurity in safeguarding the national economy. He urged active engagement, sharing insight and collaboration on strategies to enhance collective cybersecurity posture. In an era where digital transformation is reshaping industries and infrastructure, the necessity of protecting our systems from increasingly sophisticated cyber threats has never been more urgent. Cyber security is not just a technical issue, it is a fundamental pillar of our economic stability and growth. I urge all of you to engage actively, share insights, and collaborate on strategies that will enhance our collective cybersecurity posture. Tim Kukola, chairman of uh, CSCS PLC, highlighted the need for AI integration to protect digital assets. Certain cybersecurity ventures are projections of uh, cybercrime costing $10.5 trillion annually by 2025. The recent approval and the gazetting of the designation of uh, pro uh, designation and protection of critical information infrastructure, uh, the Executive Order 2024, underscore the government commitment to safeguard our, uh, our digital economy. This directive not only mandate the protection of essential systems, but also foster collaboration between public and private sectors to build reliance, uh, resilience against cyber, cyber risks, one of which collaboration and coordination, and uh, this conference is one of the stages for that. We must create air gaps that shield our critical systems for emerging threats. Of course, collaboration is key to addressing these multifaceted issues by bringing together diverse expertise and perspectives. We can foster a more resilient cybersecurity framework. The answers rule as Nigeria's custodian of cybersecurity law is crucial in guiding our collective efforts, which is why we went to go and partner with them. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.